you get in there, you should cut a promo rather than get into a fight with anyone. Less risk of injury that way, right? Tonight, we can't just sit there in our seats or cut a promo. We need to get physical with someone. From inside the ring to behind the scenes, you're about to be up to no good with former WWE superstar Hood Benson and his co-host, Pete Clark. It's like Buzz can't get away from what happened. I mean, he had a match in Mexico versus El Mago, which mm -hmm. was a great match, but then out comes some idiot wearing the same mask as the <laughs> fan who attacked him outside the WWE arena. And the match is ruined. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't see the match, but this, 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 this kind of stuff happens. Well, uh, it's, it's, it's especially in places like Mexico, where the audience is very passionate uh, about wrestling. Okay, I guess. You know, I, I once had a fan in Mexico sneak into my hotel room disguised as a room service guy. <laughs> what? Uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, that's what he's saying. Did you tip him? Yeah, I, I tipped him right over the balcony. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you know, you don't sneak into wrestlers' hotel rooms, people. Bad idea. Very, uh, very bad. Some <laughs> solid advice, Hood. Uh, by the way, did you see BCW is running their next streaming pay-per-view from the same venue that was once home to Monday Night Raw? Uh, that's a big step up from my school parking lot yeah yeah sure it is you know it, it is and, and, and let's be real it's it's a it's it's a shot across wwe's bow yeah. you know it's it's no it's it's no coincidence that bcw is running this venue you feel me mm -hmm. they're, they're they're doing it to send a message to wwe well what do you think that message is you'd have to ask them uh -huh. but but i think at the very least it's saying hey look at us we not, we might not be in the same ballpark as you yet but we're in the tailgating. We're tailgating in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's certainly going to bring BCW to a whole new level, especially with the rumors swirling about the big rematch between Buzz and Cole Quinn. Hey, they better be careful though, you know, yeah. because they might be biting off more they can they they they, they can chew. You know, sometimes it's easier being the the mean little guy flying under the radar. Now they're in the spotlight, and they they they've rattled the big dog's chain. I think you just set a record for the number of cliches in one speech. Hey, I'm just calling it like I see it, man. And there's <laughs> another one. Does this studio have a balcony, what? man? Because I'm, I'm about tired of you, man. <laughs> I think you might need the, the Mexican room service guide treatment. Oh, yeah. boy. Okay. <laughs> well, thankfully for me, there is no balcony here that I know of. Uh, maybe we should take a quick break to cool things down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me give me some more tea, man. Give me some, some lemonade. You know, I, I think, that's a, I think that, that's a good idea right now. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> 90 proof tea, please, right here. <laughs> Thirsty. I thought you should just cut a promo tonight to promote BCW, but it sounds like you and Cole have other plans. Next week's show is one you don't want to miss as Velveteen Dream takes on Adam Cole and what is sure to be. Uh, so, wait, sorry to interrupt, Michael, but something's going on in the crowd. Wait, wait, I recognize those two. Isn't that a hey, 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 don't give them the attention they want by saying their names. Wait, where are these guys going? They can't do this. Oh, no. What are they doing? Why? What is happening around here?
That's right, you got one. Oh, sh Thank you. <laughs> He's so pissed. Get them out of here right now. It looks now. like these two trespassers Bye. are finally leaving. At least we can get on with the show now. Awesome! Triple H must be losing it right now. I know. And even better, we're trending. Yeah. Yeah. I know I had my doubts about this, but this kind of attention will really help our next BCW yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But before we get there, how are we going to strike next? What do you mean, strike next? This wasn't a one-time thing? <laughs> oh, no. You, you're all about the buzz, right? You're all about the buzz? We got to keep this thing going. Yeah, I want to be trending nonstop. <laughs> Triple H, he's going to be ready for us next time, so we can't just buy tickets and walk in like we did tonight, okay? We need a different plan. I have an uncle who owns a costume shop. W shows were really taking off until Triple H shut down our stream. So why don't we forget this invasion stuff and just get back to running non-WWE venues? I guess it's because I've worked with Triple H before, and I've seen what happens when someone gets on his bad side. It's not going to end well. Or maybe you'll be the fool that proves the rule. That's because I just made it up. Do you like it? Oh, your uncle hooked us up. I know. And all he asked is that we plug his costume shop on NXT. It's kind of a weird request, I know, but this stuff's expensive, so I said we'd do it. Uh, okay. I was thinking we'd blend in with the fans better if we dressed up as classic wrestlers. That's a great idea. So who do you want to be? Well, we gotta go with the original invaders, Hall and Nash from the NWO. This is going to be too sweet! Track for the biggest matches in squared circle history. And now he breaks down the latest happens in the world of pro wrestling. Get ready for enticing conversations with legendary wrestling commentator, Jack Tice. Baron Blade's BCW is certainly pushing its issue with Triple H further when last week BCW wrestlers Buzz and Cole Quinn invaded NXT and made their presence known. This was in response to Triple H recently shutting down the online feed on a BCW pay-per-view for various legal reasons. Now look here, I've seen this type of stuff happen before and it usually doesn't end well for the guys who are doing the invading. I'm not saying that's always the case. Uh, there's DX's invasion of WCW, which some would say helped turn around the Monday Night Wars in favor of WWE. But that was a much different situation, and more often than not, the little guys, who are looking for the rub, if you will, from the bigger company, end up getting more than they bargained for. I mean, come on, if Triple H went after BCW just for running a former WWE venue, imagine what he's gonna do after these guys jump a barricade and disrupt the NXT broadcast, which we all know is Triple H's baby. See, if I were these guys, I'd stay as far away from Orlando as I could from now on. You made your point. You got some more buzz, pun intended. Now better back off before you do any major damage to your futures, which, to be honest, they may have already done. In any event, I'll be watching to see what BCW's next move is, just like all of you, and I just hope it's a smart one. Guys, it's the NWO. See, you never know who's going to show up at NXT. It appears these fans have gotten a little carried away. After last week, are we sure they're fans? Now, I'm skeptical to say the least. Hey, yo. Come on, let's go. You wanna go? Come on, let's go.
theory confirmed. It's those same two cowards who interrupted the show last week. Come on. Let's go. Destroy them. Finally, some reinforcements have arrived. Yeah, these Indian invaders may have gotten more than they bargained for. I want you to tear them apart. I have no idea how these two survived the Authors of Pain, but hopefully Gargano and Cassius Ono can get the job done. Come on. Come on, Cletus. Come on. Let's go.
No, now they're Finish in trouble. Off. The Undisputed Era will put an end to this. Now, this is a rare time. I'm actually cheering for the Undisputed Era. No matter what your feelings are with the Undisputed Era, Byron, they represent NXT against these invaders.
Hey, Hunter, you mad, bro? I mean, I guess I would be too if a couple of indie guys infiltrated my show two weeks in a row and then beat up half my roster. Yeah, you guys are real clever, showing up here again in your cute little costumes. Actually, these awesome costumes are courtesy of Don's Costume Shop, Syracuse, New York, dressing you up since 1993. And if you use the promo code Mr. CQ, you get a 10% off all wrestling costumes. Thanks, Uncle Don. Oh, and to Mom, Dad, Sally, and my dog, Butternuts. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Thank you for supporting me in all of my endeavors. Look at me now! I made the big time, baby! Are you finished? Yeah, man. Anything else you want to plug, or...? BCW? Oh, yeah! You can catch more of the two of us on BCW when Triple H here isn't trying to shut down our shows. Listen, we can stand here and go back and forth, and then you can try to invade again next week in some other not-so-clever way. But I have a different proposal instead. You want to be on NXT so bad, you can come back and have an actual sanctioned match. I just happen to have the perfect opponent for you, Buzz. So what do you say? You got yourself a deal. That's great, because after next week, your life will be changed forever. What do you mean by that? I don't care, as long as it means we'll mm -hmm. never have to see these two losers again. The so-called Indie Invaders are back again this week, this time for an official match with Buzz taking on Triple H's hand-picked opponent. I guarantee whoever Triple H chooses will be leaps and bounds above the competition that Buzz has faced on the Indie circuit. Hey, guys. We wanted to make you feel at home, so we got you your very own locker room. What's the matter? Is it too big? <laughs> well, at least we have free toilet paper. It's kind of hard to prepare for my match when I have no idea who I'm facing. I would just be ready for anything. Yeah. I mean, I could be facing Braun Strowman because Triple H had me go against him in my tryout match. Maybe. You okay? You seem kind of distracted. Look, I'm just worried how this is going to turn out. I mean, for all of us. I warned you not to get on Triple H's bad side. Yeah, yeah, but with everybody here, it should be fine, right? I hope you're right. Look, I'm going to go see if I can find us an actual dressing room, okay? No matter what happens, I got your back tonight. I just have a strange feeling that Triple H is going to try to pull something over on you. He is the cerebral assassin, after all. He said this match would change your life forever. But what does that mean? Maybe it was some kind of clue. I guess when you win the lottery, it changes your life forever. People who win the lottery are millionaires. Maybe your opponent is the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. All right. Well, I'll keep thinking on it. There's a feeling of tension in the air as Buzz is about to find out the identity of his opponent. Sorry, Buzz. I'm not your opponent tonight but I did personally select him. You see, I did a little digging these past couple of weeks and I was able to track down the person who cost you your shot at WWE. And that's who you're facing tonight. Come on out. No, it can't be. Who would have imagined? <laughs> Leave it to the Cerebral Assassin to pull off something like this. <laughs> I love it.
To bring our audience up to speed, Buzz had a WWE contract, but an altercation with this mass fan forced Triple H to rescind that contract. Guys, Buzz is an absolute shock. Well, he better snap out of it or he's gonna get beat up by this fan a second time. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. When I looked at the card for tonight, this one definitely stood out as one you don't want to miss. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Hammerlock applied. Oh, no, no. Uh-oh. He's zeroing in on the arm now. Look out. Oh, and a painful stretch here. strike hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that blow. Ow! That hurt! He's starting to stumble here. But not for a second do I expect him to back down now. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. Abuses him with an elbow. Drop kick! Beautiful. You can bet his joints will be aching after that. Taking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. Lance him with a pile rider. No doubt about that one. That'll likely do it, Michael. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, I think this man needs business. Can he end it here? Buzz is desperately trying to find out the identity of the masked attacker. And there's just as much desperation on the masked attacker's part to hide their identity from Buzz. He gets it with a reversal. He's too quick for him there. No, there's the reversal. There's no recovering from that. He's starting to feel it here. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. If his opponent somehow wins this thing, you could likely go back to this moment as the turning point of the match. And he got a near fall out of it. He needs to change something fast, guys. It's just a matter of time now. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. This might be it. Oh, my. Lands a quick punch. Elbow smash. He lands the strike with great accuracy. fall out of it. Just barely, but it counts. Look at this. 
What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, he's gonna do it. That's how you move up the ladder here in WWE. Game, set, match, this one is over. That's one of those moves where you check your extremities upon impact. Death Valley bomb. That's what he was looking for, Michael. If it doesn't end the match this time, it might be time for a new finisher. His shoulders are down. Let's take a little look at some of the action from that match. Wow. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Wow. I haven't seen a match like that in a long time. I might go home and watch a replay. It was that good. It looks like he finally might find out who cost him his WWE contract. That's, that's Baron Blade, the owner of BCW. I'm sorry, but I can explain. I attacked you after your WWE tryout because I didn't want to lose you. Without you, BCW wouldn't last. But more importantly, I didn't want to lose my protege. You're like a son to me. And I know after you lost your dad, I was like a father to you. Don't you ever mention my father again. Please try to understand. I know I messed up, but I had good intentions. Good intentions? You cost me my dream. I trusted you with everything. My safety, my career, my entire life. This is why I didn't want to invade NXT. I knew Triple H would use this to drive us apart. No, Triple H didn't drive us apart. You drove us apart. I never want to see you or talk to you again. We are done. Wait, just please forgive me. Go ahead, hit me if it makes you feel better. I deserve it. You're not worth it. <laughs> I told you, this match would change your life forever. I swear, I had no idea about Baron. I'm just as shocked as you are. Just want to get out of here. What's the big hurry, Buzz? Don't you want to stay? Have some catering? I mean, it might be a good idea. Who knows where your next meal is going to be coming from after I just tore your little indie fed to pieces. I'm not hungry. We're not finished here. You guys thought you were so cute playing Invasion, but I have eyes and ears everywhere. And the moment they informed me Baron was the masked man that attacked you, I could not wait to light the fuse and watch everything blow up in your faces. You know, it took a bit of convincing to get Baron to do the match. I told him that I'd keep his secret, but I was gonna expose him either way. So take your stuff, take your little buddy here, and go back to your rundown van and your rundown lives. Oh, wait, there's one more thing you might wanna know. I bought your contract from Baron, which means I have control over you now. So you can also consider tonight your retirement match. Because as long as I am alive, you will never step foot in a ring again. Now we're finished. Hey guys, hold on a second. Yeah, we couldn't help overhear all that, and we have a different plan in mind. This doesn't concern you. Actually, it does. Yeah, as respective GMs of Raw and SmackDown, our job is to find the very best talent for our shows. And from what we've seen the past few weeks and from his run on the indies, this man doesn't deserve to be sent off into early retirement. He deserves to be on the main roster. It'd be a waste to have him under contract sitting on the sidelines. You can stop right there. I've made my decision. Aren't you always using the phrase, what's best for business? He does always say that, Daniel. 
So, wouldn't putting your personal issues with a talent aside in order to make SmackDown or Raw the best show possible be the exact definition for what's best for business? Fine. Is your problem now. You might have been bailed out this time, but I will never forget what you did. So what's it gonna be? I think you'd be right at home on Team Blue. Or you could be a part of WWE's flagship show, Monday Night Raw. <laughs> this has been an emotional night and uh, uh, this is a lot to take in, but if I have to make a decision right now, I've gotta go where I think I have the best opportunity to showcase my wrestling style and that's on SmackDown. Yes! 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 Hear that? There's a buzz on SmackDown. <laughs> Congrats, man. I don't agree with your decision, but I respect it. And if I've learned anything in my career, it's never say never. So who knows? Maybe you end up competing on Raw someday. In the meantime, good luck. Thank you. Buzz is now headed for SmackDown Unbelievable. Live! Unbelievable.